for Tuesday, June 6th. This is Dude That's Dope. This is Esteban with Nathan and Ryan. Hey, what's up? Alright, so it's been a fucking pretty busy week. Um, a lot of shit going on with Wonder Woman and um, a lot of movie news I noticed. Um, I kind of want to start off go- by going back a little bit about um, about Wonder Woman. Because I know we were we had talked about it um last episode because we had uh, done a review but since then they had gotten some numbers back for um for how how well it did and they were saying opening night it got it like 103 million dollars in opening box office which is huge dude it shattered it actually shattered records especially for um <clears throat> for the director uh, the female director uh patty jenkins so they yeah they asked him, estimated over a hundred million dollars over the weekend which um which is pretty huge and a lot of people are saying like the the movie was so well that it's probably going to save dc's dc's uh cinematic universe um ryan have you got a chance to see this yet no i haven't seen it yet i want to (laughs) and it's it's totally worth it uh uh, like nathan and i we were talking about before we we felt like it might it could have been you know how sometimes people like oh because it's a female movie they're gonna they're gonna be real big about like feminism and all that and it, it's gonna kill the movie like i heard all these concerns before but totally not that dude totally not so badass movie um like i mean it, like in a non-spoiler way for for ryan what, what would you say about it i would say just go into it with an open mind and I don't know just it's an origin story kind of so you'll get to get the background at least oh yeah and it's just it's it's different than a lot of other movie, like superhero movies in the way that it's not like trying to cram so much into it that you're like just getting a little a little snippets of everybody you get to focus mainly on just Wonder Woman like yeah I really liked that yeah it was really good um no too that too there's a good twist too at the end yeah yeah. (laughs) and especially too like if you don't know who wonder woman is like who the character is where she comes from or all of that this will explain everything um so yeah man definitely maybe wait for like uh the tuesday or today's tuesday huh the five dollar movie theater oh, yeah. oh, i should have went to go see it today <laughs> so it's got a lot a lot of strong women in the film a lot of strong women <laughs> a lot of Amazon's, strong women dude a lot Amazonian. of strong amazon man what i do for an amazon girlfriend dude mm. holy shit i wouldn't be mind getting tossed around like that <laughs> <laughs> um so surprisingly um so of course, Wonder Woman was number one. Coming in number two for this week, um, I, I I've just seen this right now for the first time. Was a book that I read back in elementary school. I don't yeah. know about you guys. I definitely read it. Yeah, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Um, but of course, it, it came in a f- like a quarter of of the money that Wonder Woman brought in. Like it's not even comparable. Wonder why? Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, oh, this one I wanted to talk about, Pirates of the Caribbean. There was, I guess, like, from one one, one Friday to the next, dude, it had dropped, like, like uh, 70% or something like that. It was some huge number. Uh, like, right, yeah, see, weekend total for, for Pirates this week was $21 million. And uh, so it's $21 million. Last week it made, um, well, see, it, it's 114 total. So it only made twenty one million. So the 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 remainder, the what, fucking almost ninety, eighty something million was from the opening week. So it dropped. It dropped that big percentage. So, and of course, you know, from there, Guardians Galaxy, Baywatch, which I guess has been bombing, Alien Covenant, uh, with only four million, dude. That one's a big surprise because I. You know, other than the, the few things about the film that I didn't like that they didn't answer that I wish they would have gone more in depth about or at least covered more, um, I'm, I liked it. You know, other than that, it was it was a good film. Um, but surprised, even the worldwide total only 173 million. That ain't shit, dude. 
guess they were too busy watching Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, they were too busy watching Wonder Woman, like everyone else. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of Wonder Woman, dude. So they were having a film festival in Algeria. And, um, okay, so Wonder Woman has been like a contra- controversial film for like the Middle East or overseas where... You know, where women are kind of second-class citizens compared to men. And so, like, this mo- Wonder Woman's been being pulled from, like, film festivals from the whole country of Lebanon, dude. They're like, no, fuck that shit. A strong woman uh, figure, you know, wow. uh, someone to look up to for women? Fuck that shit, <laughs> you know? No way. And that's exactly what they did. They yanked the film. It's rated and, W for the yeah, woman. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> and... And they banned the film, dude. Which is like, what? So, um, I don't know. Same thing, um, I guess I guess this just happened again, too, in Algeria. I don't know. Uh, I guess they were, they were getting pressured from uh, groups around the area. I, I don't know. I'll never get understand it. Who cares what people are watching? I heard they were doing screenings of all women in the yeah, audience and people, about that? Uh, and people were getting pissed about it or something yeah of course of course they were and you know the people that were getting pissed were just like uh, were old old men that have uh huge beards and and big bellies <laughs> no I, I don't know man just why though why there, there's thousands of movie theaters why why are you concerned about one showing i'll never understand it me neither um Dude, so I didn't even know this. Fucking, did you know a Predator reboot was in the making? Oh yeah, is Arnold Schwarzenegger gonna be in it? I, I wouldn't so. be surprised. Was Arnold Schwarzenegger starring in the leading role? Yeah. Oh right, and He's it's back, a it's a complete ro- reboot. Complete reboot. They're starting oh, yeah. the franchise over. I'm down for that. I am yeah. down for. That. I almost kind of wish they would have done that with Aliens. You know, because think about it. There had already been multiple films you know crossovers with predator it would have been cool if they would have rebooted predator and alien at the same time you know what i mean Mm -hmm. just restarted the timeline or something i don't know i mean it's cool seeing prequels and everything but um i don't know how is this going to affect the two characters when it comes to movies i guess when they're both in a film it's not really canon anyways huh it's not really um like the official story you know what i mean yeah, it's always been kind of just like fuck around movies. It's like it's in its own universe, kind of. Thing. Yeah, like like it's some parallel universe, but um, which really makes me think like so so if that's how the aliens were in, uh, created in. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you see it yet, Nate, Ryan? I don't even want to say much. But no, I didn't see that one yet. I was too busy Did... watching. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I haven't seen it. No, yeah. So um. So I I don't know I just I'm wondering how how this would uh where the predators uh are when it comes to that because it makes me really curious so if the next few a- alien films are going to have because think about this I mean are you okay if I say something about it It's so confusing to me just okay. go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, at the end there's a ship that they're on that and it's kind of, it just it's floating off into space right. And so, and I guess the idea is, well, there's an, there's aliens on there, on that ship, and it's headed towards a location, and that that's how the aliens spread throughout the uni- the galaxy or whatever through the human spaceship through this human spaceship. Um, and so, but somebody's doing it though. Somebody's causing it. <laughs> somebody's mm-hmm. raising them like raising them like babies and fucking putting them out there but i mean that makes me think because predators and aliens had to cross path eventually right so, so i wonder how would you what would you think about if if they had put a put predator in the, one of those upcoming films like it, as one of the races they came across while on their way to this planet that'd be crazy i i think i would i would like that i wouldn't mind seeing predator in an alien film again you know um so yeah, so so they just finished up uh, filming for the new Predator movie. Um, let's see. I guess it, I guess 
yeah, so Arnold's coming. Yeah, Arnold's coming back. Which I wonder if he's going to be the main character. If it's going to be, yeah, that's what I said. He's, so he's going to be the lead role. Uh, the governor is fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, "Oh, the uh, predators. They're the." the characters are going to be in costumes instead of cgi and shit they're going to be actually using props and i honestly i like that better when they it's just something about it because especially when it's cgi you definitely can tell and it just sometimes it kills it you know Mm -hmm. it kind of kills the mood i noticed that a little bit in um in covenant I don't know if you saw anything, but there was like uh, yeah, one or two bit. scenes where like the alien was like kind of running up the walls or the side of the walls and the corner of the walls, and you could just totally tell like, oh, that didn't even look natural, you know? Like it just mm-hmm. nah. So, but yeah, so they're r- wrapping up filming. Definitely want to check that out. Um, I know Nathan. You said you were pretty excited to see uh, Baby Driver, right? Yeah, that one's and, cool. And that one's gonna be coming out in a couple weeks, I believe. Well, the big uh, emphasis on Baby Driver is that it's going to be a real big, like, music movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, because... Do you know the premise of this movie, Ryan? There's this, like, one badass driver that <laughs> they go on missions or yeah. something. Yeah, he's... um, His name is Baby. And when he was a child, his family got in a car accident. Uh, a real bad one. And I, it's, I guess from that he has this ringing perpetual ringing in this head and it just doesn't go away and so what he does is he blasts music as he's driving to drown it out and i guess when he does that he he just can like concentrate times a billion or something you know he's he becomes hella focused and does badass driving i don't know if you've seen the trailer dude there's one scene where they're going through like an alley or something and there's like some side road and the and like a garbage truck comes like halfway into the alley and he does this crazy thing where he's like swerving the car like this like he swerves the car and it's kind of going but then he swerves it back the opposite way and he's still sliding in the same direction it's so weird he goes from sliding Left side, he flips the steering wheel so the car does a 180, but he's still sliding in the same direction. It's it's the craziest, craziest move. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. Dude. It fits right in between. Like, there's God. no room for error. And it's fucking real. You know that was a real take. Like, somebody did that shit. It, it is impressive. And so, uh, so you know, Baby Driver, um, and because he became such a good driver, I guess he started... Uh, making runs for like gangs or whatever i don't know exactly who it is that that he's um, you know working for but eventually he i guess he owes the guy or something (laughs) because you kind of even hear it in the in the in the trailer he'll be like um and he's like after this i'm finished and he's like no after this you don't owe me or something like that you know and and uh Oh no, he's like after this, no, we're even, and he, and and then like Kevin Spacey, of course, he like threatens him. He's like, oh, it's, it's something about his family. Like, I hate to see what would happen to to that pretty girlfriend of yours, you know. And and oh man, the actress in this film looks super pretty too. I honestly don't know who she is, but um, she looks gorgeous though. Uh, you see any songs here you recognize, Nathan? The uh, Beach Boys. Oh yeah, of course. Beck, there's Beck. Deborah, yeah. Um, a lot of the songs they were playing on there sounded familiar, but to be honest, as I'm reading these, none of the, none of them's really sticking out for me. Oh, wait, here's some more. Um, a lot of them have um, the word "baby" in the song. Queen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, they actually have a song named "Baby Driver." Wow. <laughs> Danger Mouse. Nice. Uh, it says here, uh, these songs are really, uh, there will be other songs referenced in the movie, but not included in the soundtrack. So these songs are what's on the soundtrack for this film, I guess, actually. Mm. But, um, definitely kind of cool to look at. I'm, I'm thinking of even, because, you know, even the music they were playing on the trailer sounded pretty, pretty, uh, awesome. And, you know, always looking for new music, so... Definitely Jamie Foxx is out. one of my favorite actors too. Yeah, he has his own show about music, where it's like uh, that that app that like recognizes songs. Oh, like um, what is it called? Shazam. Shazam. Yeah. It's like so, it's like if you can beat it, 
Like if you can recognize a song faster oh, than the app. And you have to know the, like recognize the song or the lyric, like would you have to know the lyrics? I guess they play it for a little bit and if, if the app can recognize it before you can, then you lose. But if you can recognize it before <laughs> the app, then you win and, and Jamie Foxx is the host. Oh shit. Um, all right, so move, moving right along uh, with movies. You guys, um, Starship Troopers, Starship a Troopers just came out with a trailer for um, an animated, um, let's see, an animated sequel to uh, to Starship Troopers Trader. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This the the film is called Starship Trooper Trader of Mars, and um, of course it's based off of the novel just like the original movie was. I mean, you guys obviously remember the ag- live-action one, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, didn't know it was a, based off a novel, though. Yeah. It, it, well. I, I only reason I knew was because I, I saw it on, like, Audible or something. <laughs> wow. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a TV, uh, TV show, I believe. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming out. For um, Sony. Sony's bringing it out. Um, but I'm not sure exactly on what platform. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did it on that Sony View, you know. Um, to, to, to. So I guess it's going to play off kind of from like the original films. Like the movie was a little goofy and stuff, you know. There were, there'd be some some, some scenes that were um, were like that. Uh, it's an old movie. It is a definitely an old movie. It was and a good movie. Back I, l- then. I liked it. It was it was really what what do you call it? Campy? What is it, what is it? What is it called? Like uh, when a movie's really like corny, corny a little bit, a little bit maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was for me a little bit. You know, um, one thing real quick I wanted to say before uh, before I forgot that. W- I was listening to the last episode that we kind of blew over was the DC has like a new intro for their movies and we had said like it was cool and all but kind of wanted to get a little bit more into it because I was reading about it and like a lot of people were speculating that these because what it shows like all these DC characters in the beginning now and um and then it kind of zooms out and it shows like a big group of them with like the main superheroes in the middle but what people are saying is like oh this is this is going to be like the the future of the characters they're going to be using you know later on and there there was a bunch from on there that I was pre- pretty interested in but you know I I've always been pretty big on co- uh comics and stuff um yeah I just wanted to get that out so uh, I know we had talked about uh, before about the director from District 9, how he had opened up his own studio, Neil Blomkamp. Well, he came out just uh, a few days ago and said that he's going to be making a new another movie in the District 9 universe, like in the District 9 world. Oh, that's cool. And it's going to... It's, let's see... Um, do, do, do you, I guess technically, well, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so originally there was district nine and that's the one he wants to go back to because the other two films that he, he made after that Elysium and Chappie, they completely feel like they're in that world too. Don't they? Pretty much. It, yeah. fe- it feels like it's the, it's the same universe except for you don't see those aliens. Like it totally feels like it's in the same place, but it's not, it's, it is separate. Um, but now he's saying that he wants to return to that District 9 world, which would be so dope to see. That's actually one of my favorite films. It was District 9. I don't know. It, it always just kind of resonated with me. Don't you have that too, Nathan? Don't you have that movie? Yeah. I think that's just kind of his style, though, because he, he's like, uh, they do, that's filmed in Johannesburg, I believe. It's like South Africa. Aren't they? They're all of his films, are, aren't they? Or I'm something pretty like that? sure. That's probably why they feel like they're all from the same universe or whatever. But that's probably just how his style is. Yeah. And he always uses that same actor. Uh oh yeah. Ah oh, fuck. I can't. Even, I can't even remember his name right now. Um. Oh shoot. 
That's going to bug me. They've been friends for a long time. Yeah. Did you know that he was actually... Uh, he had proposed a Aliens 5 movie. One that... Yeah. I think that's when he was doing Chappie because he got to talk to Sigourney Weaver yeah, on Yeah. And, and he wanted to complete her story. He mm-hmm. wanted to complete Ripley's story. But um, so I guess uh, ever since Covenant came out, I guess it, it's killed that that I, that plan... Or not plan, but that idea... Which, I mean, I would have loved to see something like that. Um, especially because, I guess, you know, I wasn't really too big on Aliens before. Um, but then I went back and watched them. And, you know, th- because they clone her in, in Resurrection, right? Yeah. And and that's why she's still alive. Like, And that's why she could have a finishing story for the, for the fifth one, you know? And but it, just because Covenant came out, I don't see why it, they wouldn't be able to still do that, you know. Yeah. Anyways, Stranger Things too, you guys. Oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> Ryan. Yes. You fan? Yes, I'm a huge fan. Huge the first fan. season was. I binge strange. watched this shit. It yeah. was strange. <laughs> I binge watched it myself. I found it real strange. Yeah. Real strange. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to get stranger in season Ooh, two. Yes, it is. That's exactly what they were talking about. They were saying that it was going to be more, um, uh, if I remember it right, it was going to be almost more terrifying. They said like more horror kind of, and well, like more scary, but that they were going to be showing the creatures more. They're actually going to show them um, because, you know, they barely showed it on the first season. It was really just something like you know a monster just out of you you can't see but you know is there you didn't know what it was until that one episode where you get to catch a glimpse of it yeah oh my god strange (laughs) yeah dude it's coming out this halloween around october uh i believe so yeah um yep october this year which be good for halloween hell yeah and really october man it's going to be here before we know it. Watch. Yeah. We're already halfway through this year. It's not going to be anything at all. I honestly cannot wait for that. I'm going to be, I'm going to watch it all the way through. Me too. Is it going to have all the same actors? I bl- the- yeah. Yeah. They're all returning. Um, did, was it stranger? Oh, that's a cool film. Uh, a picture. It's a picture of all the kids, uh, from the show, man. They seem like a pretty smart bunch of kids, huh? They seem pretty like even not even just their characters, but the their actors, the actors that play them. They mm-hmm. seem fucking smart. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, well, fuck yeah! Look at them, dude. They're killing it. But um, hey, was it Stranger Things? Was it that one that that starts off where um, it shows like a doctor running down a hallway and he's like frantically trying to close like an elevator door and he finally gets in but then he like looks up and like you just see him get taken you know what i mean that's the one that's the one man one of the greatest openings i think in any show because it just sets the tone just like boom dude it's like what the fuck was that but most uh real excited for that man um oh shit um accidentally closed something then uh, hey so now that um jim carrey's show has has actually been released now um i guess the, a lot of reviews were coming out uh i haven't really read too much about it because i didn't want to fucking like spoil anything mm-hmm. um but i mean from from what it looks like people are liking it, it So, yeah, so it was where it chronicles the lives of young comedians, which we kind of had gone over already during the seven, you know, from the 70s. Um, Let's see. I guess, I guess the. Okay, so I guess one of the problems is they have a shit ton of characters in the show. It almost feels cluttered. Seems like that's the problem with the Marvel movies and stuff like that, I feel like. Just try to cram too much with the Avengers and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's always a problem. It's I think especially for like Avengers, it was they were trying to put too many people uh, characters inside the movie to please everyone, mm-hmm. and and instead of making a good film, it just felt like 
you know, it was going back and forth between all these different characters, not never really going anywhere, just kind of showing what's going on. N- nothing, no, no real like storytelling, like like I would really, I would want, but um, but I think this one was really, I don't know if this one was for the full full season. I don't, I think it's really only for the first episode. What channel is this on? It is on Showtime. Showtime. Uh, I want to say yeah. It's only just aired the first episode so far i yeah i think that's all it should be because i wouldn't i wouldn't think they would release the whole thing it's not netflix no um, i'm gonna have to watch that yeah so you know i had completely forgot it was uh coming out so soon it's was yesterday i believe the fifth uh when it did so it's out it's it's out it's available definitely gonna um Take a peek at that. I mean, can't go wrong with Jim Carrey. Dude, oh my god. Did you guys know Jim Carrey was being... Uh, char- I think he was being sued for, like, the death of, like, his ex-girlfriend because she, like, killed herself. And, like, they're arguing that he's provided, like, all these pills and shit. Have you I, seen that? I heard about I heard that. about it. I Dude, don't know the details, though. Nuts, man. Real nuts. And she was real pretty, too, man. She was young, though. Way younger than him. But, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's weird because, like, I was reading up about Jim Carrey's new show, and then just right there on the side, it says Jim Carrey being charged with or, you know, sued for the death of something. It's like, what the fuck, dude? That's fucked up. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, let's move over. Uh, there's a few things that were coming out. Um, Nathan, that you had brought up um, from Workaholics, one, yeah, one of the greatest like shows a year away. of all time. The, uh, Workaholics, dude, man, there was always something about that. It just like never got old, you know. One of those shows just like wanted to see the the newest episode that came would be coming out, you know. They're so funny together. Yeah, it just it works so well, so well. So, um. It looks like they're going to be having a film, and they're all working together, right? All was it all three? Yeah, all, all three, three of them working together. It's going to be on Netflix, and it's going to be a Netflix film called Game Over, man. And um, not a lot of details about it yet, but you know it's going to be good if Netflix is picking it up, and it's the guys from Workaholics. Yeah. You know this shit's going to be hilarious. I'm excited. I was sad when their show ended, but. It's good to see them moving on, doing bigger oh, things. Exactly, and you know what? The way I look at it is like it ended because they're moving on, doing bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm all for it. But you know, shit. Um, let's see, these are individual. Were these guys working on anything else too? That's kind of what I was looking at. The I know Blake had some funny stuff that he was looking. It looked like he was working on some porn thing. <laughs> <laughs> adults only TV series. Yeah, it's uh, adults only. I guess it's a TV series. Uh, I supposedly for this year, uh, where what is? It? I guess the show everything is bigger in porn. He he does a what? I don't. Oh, he plays Alex Anderson. He does a voiceover. I guess an animation or something. I have no idea. Let's check it out. I had never heard of this before. They don't even... It's in development. Yeah, it's in development. For some reason, it says it's it gets released this year, though, which doesn't seem right if they don't even have any pictures or nothing out yet. But then again, maybe they're keeping it super secretive. What's that other one? The Jellies. The Jellies. It's another TV series that he's going to be doing a voiceover for. Um, let's see. Ooh. So it looks like it's going to be... Oh, no, The Jellies has been out already. I, I, well, I've, I've never heard of this one before. Have you guys? No, it uh, looks like... Is that on Adult Swim or something? It looks weird. Um, This is... Oh, well, fuck. I don't know. Uh, TV series. I, I would say... I would guess Adult Swim, but... Man. Are they jellyfish? <laughs> I don't know. I have no the idea. jellies exclamation mark. 
I have no idea, and they don't want to... They kind of look like jellyfish. They do. What the fuck are they? The jellies, I don't know. It is so bizarre. It's been out since 2015. Yeah, yeah. It's been they're jellyfish. S- well, look at look at the other stuff that's coming up too. It's like that's, all stuff from. It's definitely an adult swim show. But check it out. Nine po- j- the jellies. Nine point three out of ten for their huh. rating. I'll have to check that out. You know what? Um, let's see real quick. Actually, uh, maybe if we look on Google or something, we'll be able to see the answer. It is an adult swim. Uh, Adult Swim reels in the Jellies Tune series. Hmm. Nice. So I didn't. I, didn't, is, I had no idea. Didn't, is he like on it regularly? Or is he just in like one episode? Um, from the looks of it, um, you know they do show it usually how many episodes some of these characters are in. Just um, go back to Blake's IMDb and then it'll say. Oh, okay. Shit. One more time. Mm, 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 this is mm, their foul mm. mouth jellyfish. <laughs> they sure look like it. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't say what episode. I'm guessing he's part. I guess he's part of the whole thing because mm. they're not. They're not uh, separating anything. And it looks like yeah. It looks like he's he's part of it. Which, if he is, you know, I. I shit you then you know it's gonna be funny that dude's hella funny i mean what was it it said the other guy that was uh working on it too was tyler the creator the have you guys ever seen loiter squad on oh, adult yeah. swim mm. it's one of those guys funny as fuck man um well those are the only two things he has between workaholics and this new netflix well i bet I, yeah and i bet he i bet you he's probably focusing on that netflix one like way more yeah um, but Adam's doing a- the well, most. of course. Adam D- Divine is that how you say it? Divine? Yeah. Well, he he's always been the one that's been more busy, bu- uh, quite a bit more busy than the other two guys, huh? Yeah, it was pitch perfect. He's been uh, all over the place. It seems like really. Uh, oh yeah, he was in Why Him with James Franco. The Lego Batman movie. He played as he he was the voiceover for the Flash. You know, I've never seen the Lego Batman movie, but. I, it seems like one of those movies I would really want to see because I fucking love Batman. I can't believe I haven't seen that shit yet. Um, anyways, well, so Adam actually has um, other shit going on too, other than the, of course, the Netflix one. But he's in the film, I guess, called "Isn't It Romantic." That's not scheduled to come out until 2019. Yeah, this one has no info. It it's of course a romantic comedy. Eh. Oh, uh, it's all right, I guess. I don't know if I'll see Dude, it. Dude, Gordon Green's a director. I'll see it. For Halloween? Oh, oh, I, oh, oh yeah. my bad. <laughs> now oh, yeah, my, Halloween. Yeah, they're doing a new Halloween that's supposed to come out in 2018. Yeah, my bad. I, I closed out of that one because there was, like, no information on it. But there, So there's going to be a new Halloween movie then. Do you know if it's, like, a reboot or anything like, anything like that? Or is it actually going to be, like, a continuation? Um, I'm... I'm not sure exactly if they're doing it like that. I just know that it's supposed to be a lot like the original. Wait, is this supposed to be... This would make... How many Halloween movies? Because uh, I'm looking at here and it says that there's some like fre- frequently asked questions and they keep calling this Halloween 3. Does that sound right? I thought there was more than that. But honestly, I'm not too sure. I thought there were three. As of now. Already? Okay. That there were already three? Maybe this is an old question. That's weird. I'm not I'm not too sure, but it's weird that Danny McBride and David Gordon Green are writing it. Are oh, like, is that who who's writing it? Danny McBride is one of the writers, yeah. Writers. John Carpenter, David Gordon Green, and there it is, Danny McBride. He's he's doing the screenplay. Nice, man. He's been fucking busy too on Aliens. Um, and then the, uh, other, what was the other one you were talking about? He was doing, uh, v- Vice Principals. Vice Principals season two is supposed to be coming out sometime this year. It looks like, it looks like it may be already. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I haven't heard anything about it, but I know it's supposed to be coming out this year. Huh. Yeah, there's, 
it's it's showing episodes, but it's not really showing the date other than the year it's coming out, and they all say 2017. So. It, if if it's not out yet, it's going to be out real soon. Yeah, so the first season's really good. If you haven't seen that yet, you should watch that. No, I, I, I haven't, but I uh, most definitely want to check it out. Was that HBO? That was yeah. HBO, right? I thought so. Um, Let's see. Um, that Zeroville was a interesting-looking one with Zero James Bill. Franco, and I think even Will Ferrell's in it. Oh, I think who's it was this? one that James Franco oh, directed. Oh, he is directing this, yeah. And I think he, it was like a Sundance, like a indie film thing so, that he did. So it's out already, huh? It's out. Has it been out or something? It says 2017. Sure. But I've I have I've never heard of this one, though. Ryan, have you heard this one? No. Huh. Yeah, I mean, all these movies are slipping, slipping right past me, man. Holy shit. I must be living under a rock I, or I something. <laughs> all right. Out on all these good Will Ferrell films. and uh, John C. Riley are supposed to do another movie together. It's going to be like oh, a Sherlock yeah. Holmes. Oh, really? Watson and Holmes, I think is what it's going to be called. Um, Another Holmes thing. Holmes and Watson. Uh, another thing, too. Um, Sony fucking sony is making all of their like raunchy films like stepbrother and stuff that. they're they're making them all family friendly they're gonna make clean versions of their they're raunchy gonna make movie. clean versions of these I movies how are they gonna Seth do that Rogen was talking shit about them right how that. how do you go and make a movie clean you're gonna are you gonna go and reshoot all those scenes or what are you gonna are just gonna have to cut out so much of the film that it's, it's gonna, gonna make absolutely no ones. sense if they take out all those scenes how will the movie make any sense and if they don't do that, are they going to reshoot it? Are they going to get those actors again? What the fuck are they going to do? Well, so, I, you know, I had all these questions. I was like, how the fuck are they going to pull that yeah, off? They'll just censor it. Like, they do when you watch a movie on TV and it's like Die Hard and he's just like, yippee ki mother cluckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where they, yeah, they just replace, they just replace the, the word for some less offensive one, I guess. You mucka mucka. <laughs> 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 oh shit my bad dude oh i accidentally got you unplugged all right uh, you good yeah all right um you know and so i looked at i had a i had it up where it, it was a page or an article saying like this is how sony plans on fucking family friendly in all their movies is that what they're calling it? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. They're family making a family friend your movie. Fr- yeah, to death. family friendly movie. To I death. heard that Seth Rogen was talking shit about that. Well, fuck yeah, dude, because that's changing his his work. Yeah, you know he put he did that work. Why would he want someone to go in and fucking switch it all around? It because think about it, it's gonna completely change what what it is. You know what I mean? It's gonna completely change what that movie is when they do that. Pineapple Express is going to be real hard. Yeah, to, uh, I mean, how are they going to? How are they going to pull that off? I just don't see that happening. I don't see, I don't see fucking those movies coming out good at all. If they were to do this, like people just need to grow up, man. It's fucking comedy, you know. Enjoy, or maybe just don't show your kids inappropriate movies. Yeah, or or don't even. Yeah, just let them like, go, wait for them to get a little older. <laughs> What's the rush? Yeah, it's these movies are made for a specific audience, and it's not supposed to be edited for a, like a more mm-hmm. like less mature audience. They're made that way for a reason. Exactly. So I don't know, man. I thought that was pretty ridiculous. I I can't find the fucking link here. I had it, but. It's whatever. Um, let's see. Fucking Sony's VRs have sold over a million units now. That many? A million VR headsets uh, sold. Not too bad. At, and they're selling them what at four hundred bucks? Yeah, dude. I want to get one, but that's too steep. For but me. see, but that's the thing. Can our our can our vanilla PS4s run that? I think so, yeah. It was made for the PlayStation. So so the original release PS4 sh- can r- play VR? Yeah. Definitely. That's pretty surprising, you know. Depen- especially when you consider w- what most VR requires to play. You need to have a GTX 1060 for the Vive and and Oculus. It must have you know? something to do with like 
the resolution of the lenses you're looking at. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. I wonder if it's even at t- 1080p or whatever inside I think of those combined, headset. like both eye, uh, what do you call it? The where you look into the screens. Uh huh. Of those combined is a resolution of 1080. Oh, I see what you're saying. Versus like the Vive, it's like 1080p ver- on each of them. So, oh shit! Yeah, just little things like that. I think. Um. So, uh, speaking of PlayStation and Sony, they are working on a VR project that is a. It's not a game. It's not a game, but it's based off of Breaking Bad. It's going to be a. It's going to be a Breaking Bad VR experience. VR experience. And I like don't meth? know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, like what you're gonna run your own your your own meth lab VR in an RV <laughs> where you're making meth <laughs> in your underwear <laughs> in your underwear with bullet holes in the door behind you. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! So yeah, they're they're doing that. They're doing it. They're really gonna teach you how to make meth. Yeah, step by step instruction. It's gonna be um, ooh. Okay, so the the project is described as a non-game, so don't expect to play any interactive roles. You're gonna be like, working. It says don't expect to play any interactive roles like cooking meth in Walter's lab. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's all exactly I wanted to get it for. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason I wanted it. <laughs> the only reason I, I wanted get it. Ninety eight percent like purity. Yeah, I want I want to be the fuck. I want to be Heisenberg, man. I want to be Heisenberg. Man. I want to be the one that's knocking on the door. Yeah, I want to be the one that knocks. Uh, okay. So this VR experience is going to be using a game engine graphics rather than live action 360 video, um, and which is why Sony's PlayStation team is on board to bring the project to realization. Sony, um, let's see, Sony was mum. I guess they mean silent on talent attached to the project. So nobody knows if Breaking Bad's uh, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul will reprise their roles, but how dope would that be if they did come back to do, like, voiceovers for... for, Because since it's going to be in, like, video game graphics, how dope would it be for them to do voiceovers and shit for that? I would totally see that. Um, So, of course, it's going to be a PlayStation exclusive. uh, But Bob Odenkirk's going to be coming in there to salt oh yeah. fuck yeah i wouldn't mind seeing okay. that speaking of that guess who's coming on to uh better call saul gus fring he's co- he's gonna be on better call saul oh, nice. this season i need to get caught up me on too show. man did you see it no you haven't seen it? no i, I haven't saw season one i had how what see it was like so hard for me because like it was like yeah i, I love i lo- love saul goodman's character but at the same time like I want that brutalness of Walter White, and like I didn't see it like the first episode, so I was like, <sighs> you know what I mean? you know what I mean? Like, is it does it get crazy like that? Like, like yeah. Breaking Bad crazy? A little, not Breaking Bad crazy, but you can tell like it's you know yeah. Breaking Bad. It's part of the same the same universe, same, same world. Universe, yeah, man. See, <sighs> oh, I, I, I'm, man. I don't know. Just I'll see it. this. I'll I'll see it. I'll watch it, but I don't know if I'll enjoy it. You know what I Just mean? Just binge it. And yeah. Once you're like two or three episodes in, you're gonna you're gonna keep on watching. It's good. And that's what usually happens with a show I like. Oh, at first I'll be like, eh, I'll check it out, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And then next thing I know, I'm on second to last episode. The Flash, like The Flash, dude. You should catch up on that. You said you saw the first season, right? Yeah, the first season was cool. Well, they had just finished uh, season three, man, and it is getting damn good, man. <laughs> Fucking good. Uh, and I love The Flash, dude. It's just something about about it. Um, do, 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 do. So we're going to be... Uh, I guess uh, we're already kind of transitioning into gaming, um, slash VR. Slash VR. Yeah, we're going from from non-game VR into a little bit more gaming. Destiny, or Bungie, has just finished updating the last update for Destiny. So now 100% of the focus is going to Destiny 2 now. Right on. So, um, so on, with that, and then with Destiny 2 just a few months away, it looks like they're they're really preparing for this release date. 
they're putting all their effort all their yeah all their effort into uh into this new release now destiny 2 is it gonna be a game that we get opening like release date or you wait or is we waiting are we buying not buying what are you guys doing what are you guys thinking i'm probably gonna wait that's but but but, but also because you never got one. the chance to play the first one. Ryan yeah. and I played the first one. had had that disappointing experience with the story and shit, and like the early vanilla gameplay. But then with all the releases and the expansions, it turned into not a half bad game. Where I would I would play it all the time. Ryan and I would get in there on on a raid or a strike. Fucking and the thing was is like. It was like really easy to create community on that game, you know. You just get in a, a fire 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 team fire team, go to the tower. You could just chill if you wanted, or the the other um, just invite someone for uh, if they want to play whatever. Go on a mission, go on a strike, meet some new people. Yeah, on there. you you could do anything. And and honestly, dude, I, the the biggest thing I liked about Destiny was the gameplay, the shooting part, the shooting, the grenades. The, the, the abilities all the abilities the, the, they fun. they nailed it there most definitely nailed it and so the, um a lot of what i was reading is that destiny 2 was going to be big on those abilities again and there and that uh you know they were going to be adding more they released some game footage where they were showing some of the new abilities but so far they were only showing one they they weren't showing if there was well of course there's probably going to be other ones you can unlock just like on destiny one but uh, the only thing they've showed so far was just one new um one new ability what about all the collecting like all the items the armor the the, yeah there's going to be yeah like all that trying to collect all of them like all the exotics and all that yeah you know i liked i liked it i liked it in destiny one because yeah, there was all the rare stuff, but there wasn't, like, a bajillion of them. You know what I mean? It was, like, possible to collect a ball and stuff. But this one, they seem to be, like, loot, loot, loot. You know, the more loot, the better. But it's, like, eh, it's not always the case. You just kind of want to make it where you, where that loot seems appealing. And, and, and you know, I don't know. I, like, did, would you, did you think Destiny 1 had a good array of weapons? Or do you feel like they should have had more or less? I like they should have added more because you, think you would more? get like almost a duplicate. Like did almost you know what? the exact You're same right. thing. Especially when it came to like the lower level weapons, like the blue colored ones, They're pretty and, much useless. or the, the like, purple no one ones. All nobody, those yeah, nobody, ones. yeah, nobody would want those. And you know what the fucked up part was? Was when you would uh, accomplish something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know where you're going with you, it. Yeah, <laughs> you know him. Kill about like this. the biggest, baddest boss, yes. and he'd like drop a little. And he drops like a green, co- a common weapon. It's like congratulations, or like you even do that, and you go back to the tower to re- to get your reward, and they fucking give you like a a a, a rare weapon, like a barely, you know, like they'll give you a pair of shoes. And yeah, a pair of boots or some. Yeah, it's like <laughs> get back out there, keep on what, looting, keep on, farming, keep on, keep on on. <laughs> Keep on keeping keep on. on. <laughs> well, what was the what was it, the cryptarch the crypt, cryptarch cryptarch's name? Um, he somehow I decoded could, the little engrams on his yeah, tablet somehow, computer. Yeah, somehow he could he could he could decipher these <laughs> glowing orbs that we would find. <laughs> it's like okay, <laughs> but his voice though his voice was the one thing that would bug me the most, dude. The cryptarch's voice. <laughs> Like, whoops, better look next time. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, dude. Destiny 2, September 8th. And and the awesome thing about this one is it's going to be on PC now, which... I'm excited for, but I also don't want it to be, like, shitty. Like, I hope it's going to work. I hope there's not any errors or glitches or anything like that. But we'll see. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, there's always that um, rough patches when things first release. So uh, I wanted to step out of gaming for just a second because I earlier I had seen something that as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, Nathan would love this shit. It's a fucking, um, you know, because we don't always have to just talk about games and movies. Like if we see something cool, we'd want to talk about something it. Something dope. Something dope. Yeah. Well, there's this fucking attachment for your cars 
that um because Nathan, you're you're pretty big on like hammocks. You fucking love a good hammock, huh? It's the way to go when you're camping. <laughs> Instead of bringing a big tent, you don't have to fuck with poles or and laying on the up. ground. You like... just tie to two trees, and mine has a bug net in it too, so you're safe. And it rolls up into a little ball. It only weighs like a pound. You can put it in your backpack. Well, it's what easy. do you think? Uh, what do you think of this? Uh, they're calling it the ultimate achievement in relaxing comfortability, where it uh, it's Trail Nest's new rooftop hammock. It's pretty much an attachment for your car, for the bike. What are, what are those those rack? Roof rack. Yeah, that roof rack. You connect to your roof rack, and you have essentially your uh, your sleeping area on top of your car. And I'm guessing that they're saying this for local wildlife because if you're there and like a bear comes by or a fucking, but then again they could climb on the car too. But it looks pretty um, like it's it's well off a- the ground. You're like you're get electrocuted or get struck by lightning with that. <laughs> yeah, thing. you're. It looks like you might be a target, but it is. It you're a good. What would you say, Nathan? That looks like a good ten feet off the ground, huh? Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I I'm sure they put a disclaimer on there too that says like you're not supposed to sit in it while the car is moving. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's but the first how, thing that came to mind. How huh? awesome would that be though? Just riding a hammock Just in a moving chilling. vehicle. <laughs> Off-roading so, in the desert, <laughs> but I'm sure that's like one of their big warnings is like, oh, do yeah. not drive. I wouldn't while even you're be hammocking. surprised if they put it in this article. <laughs> oh, look at that! It even comes with its own like little ladder system to get up there. Yeah, that looks really cool. That is fucking dope. So I wonder if this is something. Uh, it looks more practical than just something that looks cool like being on top of your roof and high off the ground there has to be a benefit to that right well, there's not always trees around where you're sleeping true true so you're gonna need something i mean do you think something like this would also be for like if wild animals came up on you instead of being hung off just two feet off the ground you're fucking you yeah. know 12 feet off the ground you're a little more out of harm's way i guess yeah but like Ryan said, too, where if you want to go out, you can just drive your car up onto the beach and post up where there's no trees. So you can just have your hammock out yeah. there. You don't have to worry about the tide coming in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dude, well, see, what's perfect with this is just roll up whatever spot. You got your fucking sleeping area already done. Boom. Mm-hmm. And then just a little camping area or, or a little fire next to the car and you're set, dude. Just crawl through the sunroof and then you're in your oh, car. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. You got the back door, <laughs> back door entrance. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't catch how much they were charging for that, though. I mean, it looks like it wouldn't be cheap. The roof rack's probably more expensive than the actual hammock. But the, the part that connects to that? That's I'm just guessing. I don't know how much. Well, I wouldn't doubt it, man. So you can... You can buy the hammock stands and floor panels as well for it. Um, so I guess so. It's pretty versatile. It seems like. Oh, like, look at that! It's like an upstairs Ooh. bedroom. There's yeah, it's like Actually. an upstairs yeah, it's like an upstairs bedroom, dude. And you can hook up multiple of them. We see a picture with two of them here. And it look and it looks like there's even there might be even room for a third one there if they wanted, depending on how big your vehicle is. Or aren't there hammocks where it could be one big one like that? That you could use all four poles like that? Is that a thing? There's one called the tensile, where it's like a triangle shape. Oh, that's right. And three people can lay on it, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it would work on the car rack, though. But you might have a way to figure it out. Either way, this thing looks pretty awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and so, the, so it looks like the most basic one is $350. Not too bad. I mean, if you were going to be using it every time you camp, is this an invest, something you think you would invest in, dude? I think I definitely would, have, especially if I had a nice off-roading vehicle. I mean, this beats having to find a tree and shit, right? Like, yeah. Because it, that's one of the things about hammocks is you have to find two trees close enough together to, where you can tie it, get tied in and um, and all that. So and it, And this seems... Well, I mean, it's showing like a little gif. Uh, video of like this dude setting up it looks like the fucking simplest thing ever yeah once you get it mounted and everything i'm sure all it is is just like flipping a switch and then folding it out and it looks like you could actually leave it on your car connected to your car you just yeah. fold it down and leave it there uh-huh. so you're ready to go at all times that's pretty fucking dope man 
Trail if, you, if, if I went, good job, Trailness. Yeah, good job, Trailness. you uh, this ri- I think this rivals that that triangle one, dude. It, it's it's uh, they're both pretty dope. The other one's pretty cool, but it it sucks. You, you, that one you have to find tree three trees, huh? To to tie them to. I, I think they actually have a stand for it too, though. Also, that you can take with you because I've but seen it's them on the ground. Yeah. So that's the difference. Is I kind of like the idea of being high off the ground, though. I would. I think I would feel a little safer. Yeah. Um. Let's see. All right. Let's move on. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. We saw this. Do, 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 do. So I think the next fucking movie we do a review for is probably going to be Baby Driver. Yeah. Um, it's been, I don't know, because Ryan, like, we've kind of been catching movies, like, just before we go, like, have to go, Nathan has to go to work in the afternoon or a little bit before I have to go to work. So, but it sucks because, like, it's at that time when you're at work, you know what I mean? So it's like fuck, man, because I I want it so um, so you you know we could all be talking about it because we've all seen it, and I really want to take you to the fuck. Have you been to Manchester yet, dude? No. Oh my god. Is it ghetto? No. Opposite. Opposite. Really? They have these recliner seats now that you press a button and it just you pretty much are laying down while you're watching the movie. Wow. Dude, it reclines so all the way back. So no one is able to like kick the back of your seat at no. all? No. Dude. Sign no. me up. <laughs> Dude. And they were comfortable. They were fucking comfortable. Dude, I'm telling you, it leans back all the way, but the headrest has a like like it, it wouldn't be comfortable probably like in any other situation the way the headrest is because it kind of does prop your head up so you can kind of be watching. Like the, it probably wouldn't be comfortable for long sitting down, but I, you know that's that's obviously not the purpose of it. But it's like it reclines back and like it's it's puts you in like the perfect position to lay down and watch a movie. It is wow. so dope. Yeah, it's comfortable. Uh, and then after going to Edwards, it's like, oh my this God. is shit. Yeah, because we saw, because <laughs> the then same. we went and saw Wonder Woman at Edwards, and they are, be- they're falling behind, dude. They're lacking. They're trying to get their liquor license, though, so they could serve beer. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just to make it for their sh- uncomfortable seats. <laughs> yeah. It's like, get them drunk, and they won't even care what they're sitting <laughs> They'll on. They'll forget get all them about a lawn it. Chair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. How how cool would it be, dude, if they had a row in movie theaters that was just with no armrest? It was just like a couch setting for like families, you know, like uh, where where like you know you have gonna have like a group of five people or something, and and you could just all be comfortable like that. I think cool. I think I think they're going in the right direction with the way they're setting up movie theaters now. Next is is maybe even setting up like areas where there's tables you could eat at or something, oh, you know. Goodness. I think I've even seen that, but but no, there a booth. I yeah, like a booth. That's what I'm thinking of. But but most definitely these reclining chairs, ten out of ten, dude. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Um. Okay, you guys have to know about Days Gone, right? You guys seen that trailer with the shit ton of it, uh, zombies chasing you, like fucking oh, yeah. like war, and like the war, the off, like war, 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 Z. war World Z movie. Yeah, you you've seen this trailer, right, Nathan? It it, yeah. it shows the character kind of like running through this like uh, lumber yard or something, and like yeah, he's got like a shit ton of it, the uh, last zombies they were chasing him. Out with, like the beta for it or something. There, look at that massive yeah. horde. Is it is it is there any new information on it? It's well, that's the thing. Um, big speculation that everything is going to be released about it at E3. Oh, yeah. nice. When's E3? Uh, in a couple weeks, I think. Uh, le- no, actually, less than a couple weeks. I think it's uh, actually E3. I almost want to say, dude, that it's like in a few days, actually. It's coming up June, June 11th. 13th. Oh, okay, June thirteenth to the fifteenth. Oh. So yeah, ten days. I mean, not ten days. Fucking less than ten days. Seven days. A week from now. So, I fuck. I wish I could go to that. It's in it's in Los Angeles too. You know, I've been thinking, man, how dope would it be to go to Comic Con this one of these years? That would be fun. 
I would, cool. I would, man, I would want to go so bad. Just looking at everyone yeah. dressed up. Yeah, or even just be able to go to, like, the panels where they re- they release, like, uh, exclusive trailers or footage from the movies. Like, they always do that, man. I would love to be part of that. Or when the panels, when all the actors come out and shit, you know? Yeah. Um, the voice actors. Yeah, something. all the Any... voice actors. Like, um... Yeah, you know, I don't know. That's the, actually, I take, uh, it's one of those things, voice actors, it's like I almost don't want to know what they look like. You know what I mean? Because I already, I already associate their voice with the character, you know? So when I see, then when I see the person who really is behind that voice, then it's like, fuck, now all I think about is just them whenever I hear that voice instead of the character. Yeah, we don't care about the actor. We just want their yeah, voice. I just, care about their all voice. I care about is his voice. <laughs> What's coming out of his mouth? I like when I'm watching an animated thing. If I can like recognize the voice of the actor and oh, like yeah. picking it out and stuff like that, like with uh, that guy Tom Kenny. You guys Who's he playing? About? SpongeBob. Everyone. Yeah, oh. SpongeBob. Literally everyone. Go to his IMDb and just look at how many fucking voices he's done. Like he he's done more than anybody. I think he's. It's he's like the mayor on the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, he's he did that fuck, voice too. He's fucking everybody. He's on. He goes from and he doesn't limit himself to like just kids things either. Like he'll do like he's been on I think American Dad and like Family Guy mm-hmm. too and Rick and Morty even. You know who's a really good voice actor? Mark Hamill. Oh my god! Oh yeah, he's great. He's the Joker. The Joker. Fucking. He does a lot of shit yeah. too. He, like honestly, Batman. he is my f- he's my favorite uh, voice to Joker. Like he has the perfect Joker the voice. Best I think Joker voice, dude, of all time. It's fucking chilling. And he played he played the Joker voice in the recent uh, Injustice Two game as oh, well, yeah. which I really want to play, but they haven't released it on PC yet. So are they going to? Supposedly, yeah. SpongeBob Three the movie mm-hmm. <laughs> is coming out. <laughs> Big surprise, huh? Rocco's Modern Life special? A uh, what? He plays Heifer Wolf, Wolfie? Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, dude, he's just so many voices, it's ridiculous. What? Like Samurai Jack, he's dude, on that. This guy is in a lot. Adventure Time. This, th- this guy must not have a day off, like, ever. Look at this dude. He's in everything. He was in Prey. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? He's a fucking medical operator AI. He's voice. in Rick and Morty. Yeah. DC Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Clarence. That was a funny show. Like it's a kids show, but it's like one of those that like it's a kids show that's so clever that like adults can enjoy it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like um what's the other one that's kind of like that uh dude fuck it's going to bug me. It's the one where like there's gems uh steven universe i really like that show but this guy he's in fucking everything man everything nice job dude he must have uh he's got a real range holy shit 10 out of 10 tom kennedy he's got talent tom kenny um so uh you know we were talking about um about days gone which of course is it's a zombie game, but one that we haven't really seen before. Have you got? I don't think there's ever been one where like you're fighting zombie hordes, like literal running hordes chasing you constantly. Like there was a uh, Dead Rising where there's shit ton of zombies, but nothing, not where they're chasing you crazy like this. No, yeah. This the looks... only other thing I can think of is Call of Duty Black Ops zombies. Like if you get to a high round. Oh be yeah, a, a horde of zombies chasing you yep. at all times. That's right. Yeah, but this blows that out of the water. No, man. this one looks terrifying c- compared to that. Because, and this is third person too. And and it, I think that what it would uh, kind of adds to it because since it's third person, you can actually see the ones that are running behind you, mm-hmm. rather than in first person, all you can see what's in front of you. Yeah. So um, the third person aspect is definitely gonna be a big thing about this game and they call zombies in this freakers <laughs> so freakers. not zombies not walkers they're freakers hmm. um so you play as a guy named deacon saint john a biker turned bounty hunter mercenary um after the world had a global pandemic um 
And this is all pretty much the same information we've always had. Classic anti-hero. Yeah, the classic anti-hero. And uh, the big thing, the reason why it's getting a lot of talk right now is because they're saying that everything's going to be released. The release date, the, you know, more footage, gameplay. Uh, they've already released some gameplay already as it is. And it looks insane. fucking insane. Crazy. It looks I insane. Yes, I can't remember. I saw something about this a long time ago. Yeah, but it's like, 2015. I, I haven't forgotten. Like, this is one I'm really no, looking forward or, to. Yeah, 2016. I'm sorry. Last year, they... No, I won't even want to say 2015. I saw something about it. But ever since I saw it, I was like, whoa, yeah. what the fuck is that? I've been anticipating this one. And and this one's going to be a PS4 exclusive. Okay. This is PS4 exclusive. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of crafting. A lot of... Um, what is it? Uh... You have to, you know, you have to maintain ammunition. You had got to craft throwable weapons. You can be. Uh, There's gonna. It's gonna feature a big crafting system. Um, even as far as pillaging scraps from a broken down car to modify uh, your pistol, it's really Fallout esque when it comes to you know scrap. Or Dead Island too. Yeah. Or he Dead Island. Yeah. Vehicles though. I want to see. Or Dying something. Light. Like if he's a motorcycle, I hopefully he yeah has he a gets motorcycle a motorcycle. That he can drive. I won't oh, see right there. There's a picture of him on a motorcycle. And there's the yeah. dynamic weather system. So the weather's always changing and it's random. Um, it's gonna of course it's gonna be uh it's gonna be throughout it's gonna be an open world. So far, all we've seen is the lumber yard, like we were saying earlier. Um, but the thing is about the open world is. It, it's going to be so interactive that every player is going to have a unique way to defend themselves, um, to escape, to fight, set up traps, you name it. There's there's endless possibilities to how you want to handle these things. I want to do a tremor style situation Ooh. where they're all chasing me, and then I stand by a cliff, and then I oh, jump away at the last second, and then just watch the whole horror just fall. Dude, away. how That's dope would that be? Beasts. I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see somebody pull that off, man. It, it seems like something you could do in this game. I wonder if they're going to have one of those things. You know how, um, well, in Dying Light, they had something where you could you could throw this thing and it would beep, 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 beep and it would attract all, all the zombies around you. I wonder if they would have something like that, because then I would. I would throw that shit over the cliff and just watch them go after <laughs> it. Um, so... Th- they're saying that, um, of course, a lot of stuff is going to be released with Sony's press conference. Most likely going to be release date for the PS4. A lot of people are speculating 2018, of course. Um, and, and, you know, they're saying that Sony is going to be the big the big winner this year. And the reason because of that is because they... It, it, okay. They're saying Sony is going to be the big winner because they're, they're having a huge selection of games that are coming out. Exclusives, whatever. Now, but Microsoft is as well because they are releasing Project Scorpio. Uh, they said that everything is going to be revealed there. Um, they what could steal the show? They could steal the show depending on how it is. Because the thing is, is Scorpio's. I don't think it's going to be its name. That's the project name, Project Scorpio. So it's going to be Xbox something, but Most we likely. don't know what. Or Windows, maybe. Oh, I don't know. well, it's gonna be a console, so. But see, that's the thing, man. What if, what if they're starting to take that transition? You know, where they call it Microsoft, something or Windows, something, or even maybe Xbox. But it's gonna be something completely different. Like, who knows? You know. Um, but a, yeah, Sony, a, the their exclusives are gonna be really good. They're the, gonna... the another big one that um people were saying um about e3 was the last of us 2 part 2 that they're going to be releasing more footage um you know even maybe gameplay uh which shit i would kill to see um of course there's going to be a shit ton going on over there uh here it is this is what i was looking for so sony uh, this is what they're kind of predicting they're going to be showing is, of course, The Last of Us 2, the new God of War game, the new Spider-Man game. Have you guys seen that shit? Mm-hmm. The new Spider-Man uh, game looks fucking sick. It's going to be an open world game. Uh, the footage that I've seen of some gameplay looks fucking dope. Like the way Spider-Man moves around and so fluidly, it looks it looks great. It's for Nintendo? Uh, no, it's going to be Sony exclusive again. 
Sony exclusive with with uh, Days Gone, uh, Sony exclusive with Spider Man, with The Last of Us Two. Wow, Days Gone. That's what I mean, dude. They are gonna kill it this year if they do it right. Um, and Detroit Becoming Human, uh, which looks pretty cool. It's kind of like um. Um, it looks like it's Blade Runner esque, you know. Like hmm. they make there's like augmented humans, there's fucking non humans, like uh, android, cybernetic type of shit. It it looks pretty crazy, but again, another Sony exclusive. So, uh, man, Sony's killing it right now, dude. If all these games come out and they're fucking all all like top notch. They're just going to be spreading that gap between them and Xbox even more. Are they going to be coming out with family friendly versions of all these games? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, they're yeah. going to have the family friendly option. Maybe replace the gun be, uh... with a banana. <laughs> <laughs> the gun's just going to have bang little flag. Yeah, it's going to be a little flag that pops out. All the zombies will be pre- replaced with clowns, minions. <laughs> Well, that might even be yeah more scary. the yellow minions <laughs> and of course it it's gonna be I'm gonna double get you. I'm gonna it, get you. <laughs> the the prices for that i i i I almost can guarantee you those family friendly versions they're gonna charge up the ass for those shits because all the work that probably gonna have to put in to editing it on and then on top of that having to sell it like, I don't know how they're gonna make any money <laughs> off of that. Hey, kids, what do you want to watch tonight? Zach and Mary make a porno? <laughs> Rated G. Rated, Rated G. G. Eat for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Oh, and then um, Haido Kojima's Death Stranding. I forgot about that. I Death totally Stranding. forgot about it, too. But that's another Sony exclusive, dude. So, and, and so they're saying all this huge stuff, right? All these games is what um, really is going to take Sony really far on this um, E3. Um, But then when it comes to Microsoft, they're talking about the Project Scorpio finally being revealed. But but when it comes to fucking games, it's kind of lacking. You know, they want they're trying to really make the Scorpio their, you know, their head runner, like their main event, their flagship. Exactly. And so the So, yeah, so they got that, but the games that are going to be coming out is is almost non-existent. So, yeah, they're talking about uh, Forza Motorsports 7, uh, Halo 6, and maybe even Gears of War 5. Those are all maybes. And these are all maybes. They're not not anything that you're going to be able to see footage for, you know? And and a lot of the games that are that are talking about oh yeah they're going to be uh, exclusive releases and stuff um, well not even exclusive just uh, just releases of of games that are already out saying they're going to like be re released for the Project Scorpio be, so they could be uh, at play at four K and shit but but nothing but who cares about that they've already, people have already played we've already played these games we want we want to. If you're gonna come out with a new console, show us some a new game with it that that's was made as that was being made, like to go with it. You know what I mean? That's why we buy consoles. That's and play why on we bought consoles exactly, in the first place. It, exactly, dude. You got it right. And so it just makes no sense. You're gonna come out with a console. You're claiming a badass console, but then you got no game to fucking impress us with it <laughs> you know like nothing to show for maybe a halo new halo. maybe a halo maybe you know and that's why they're saying that uh sony has undoubtedly won the first half of the year with stellar exclusives like horizon zero dawn neo uh yakuza o or Z. or i'm sorry Z- zero. Y- yakuza zero, zero. Oh. um and Persona 5. I heard that was a really good game. That one I heard too was really good. And it, it seems to me like one of those games where it's kind of a lot of role playing. I, I didn't really understand it. It's a, it's a Japanese game, I think. Um, but, I mean, everywhere I was listening to it, people were liking it. And there were, that's the that was the game where they were having restrictions about who can stream it and who can't. You know, they're saying, 
oh, you know, you, you only can stream to this point of the game. And then after that point, you can't stream it. You can't give it away. But it's like, how are you going to enforce that? <laughs> you know? But they they kept it up, though. They kept it up to a point because the game, it plays on a uh, timeline. Like, there's dates, right? And so it was like, oh, don't play past July 3rd or something like that in the game. Or don't stream past that because it would give things away. But who cares? Um, of course, Sony's going to be there, too. I mean, not Sony, Nintendo. But they... They already kind of have done their big releases. There's there's really not much that they're going to be showing off other than um, like little little new games. Uh, rumored was you know those rabbits. Have you have you ever seen rabbits? Oh yeah. <laughs> they they, like they look the like they look like sure. little rabbits on crack. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've never seen them, right? I might see. have. I yeah. know I know you'll recognize it as soon as you see it. You shoot like plungers at them, right? Yeah, yeah. You, sh- yeah. I think that's what like the original game was like. You, yeah, these guys, they look very familiar. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, it's a Nintendo thing. Um, so, you know, well, of course, everyone's gonna be there. Bethesda. Yes. I almost forgot to say about Bethesda. Oh, that's what I'm really excited this about. One, actually, yeah, Bethesda is gonna be pretty huge because. Um, Okay, so of course it says a lot of the big E3 announcements are coming from Sony, Microsoft, and a little bit from Nintendo. Um, but what uh, the big one they're talking about are these games that are for all the all of them, right? Nothing exclusive. Um, the big one, EA's uh, event this year, is going to be showing off Battlefront Two, and I saw a picture of it earlier, dude. Um, it was just like a, a screenshot of of uh, I don't even think it was of gameplay. It was of something, but it looks fucking sick. And it's gonna be a story mode in it. There's gonna be a campaign. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna play that shit. You know, when it was just multiplayer only. Like sometimes I just want to take it slow and just play the campaign. You know what I mean? And 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 hear the story and play through the story. And so I'm I'm totally excited for that now. Um. Assa- uh, Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed, and of course more about Far Cry Five is all going to be coming out, which is huge. Uh, of course, Bethesda. Uh, let's see, it uh, what's they're saying it's going to be coming out for Bethesda is going to be Quake Champions. Have you guys ever played Quake before? It's one of those, you know, it's kind of like oh yeah, I remember that. It's like a it's it's fast paced, kind of like Doom. But it's like all multiplayer. I like know what the, it is, but yeah. I never really got into it. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I've never, I never. I'd be really. totally down to play it now, though, if they release it. Yeah, dude. Um, so the other big one too is said it's going to be a con- uh, the next installment of the Wolfenstein games. Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> um, so, so they're saying uh. Sorry, that the new Wolfenstein game, the next release, is going to be coming out. They said that's going to be a pretty big one. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played it, the new the New Order, Wolfenstein: The New Order. I have it. I haven't gotten that far into it, <laughs> but but it, it's great so far. Uh, another thing too is, is Elder Scrolls. They're saying that um, there's a chance of Elder Scrolls Six being revealed. So here's a long list, kind of shows over what um, the big predictions, and a lot of these seem to be um, for sure's as well, including footage of Red Dead Redemption Two That's coming out. What I'm waiting for the most um, footage, Rockstar. even hopefully um, some uh, gameplay. You know, some gameplay would be fucking dope. Um, they have the trailer that's coming out in yeah. October. Um, in I'm sorry, in October. October twentieth, it says a trailer. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Fall twenty seven. That's weird. Fall twenty seventeen trailer coming Thursday, October twentieth. So okay, so then the game's gonna be de- it's definitely coming out spring twenty eighteen. So so the first so the trailer coming Thursday, October twentieth seems about right. A few months before. 
So this one's going to be huge, but since if there were going to if if footage isn't going to be released until October 20th, then I don't know what they would be showing at E3. Maybe just teasers, not necessarily a trailer, maybe just be some teasers. I don't know. We do know that it's going to be a fucking uh prequel. It's going to be the No, 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 I'm sorry. Not a prequel. Prequel. I think it was going to be the Sun. No. No, yeah, I think I heard it was going to be a prequel. Did you have you heard about that, Nathan? I think I did hear that it was going to be a prequel, but I can't really remember because, yeah, because I think it was going to have more to do with like Indians and stuff, and um, like just barely like getting like civilized like towns set up and stuff like that. Where kind of more, even more old western yeah, than it's it like is. The first <laughs> railroads ever built. Oh, what is this? Is that supposed to be the map? A closer look at the map revealed. Great. Oh, shit. Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 map. This could be the new Old West. It says, a leak seemed to provide the map for the forthcoming Red Dead Redemption 2. The image was posted to NeoGAF before very quickly being taken down, but not before being screen grabbed and shared all over the place. A closer look at the map reveals Great Plains and multiple caravan camps and potential locations we'll be visiting Nice. There are also several islands. Look at look at these. I love. Do you see how all the rivers running through this? That looks fucking sick. I think all the water. In Red Dead, the water used to kill you. So oh, I don't this know if this looks make like it it, where you can swim. I or think if you're gonna need a boat. It looks like you're gonna be able to swim because the it it looks like there's a big emphasis on islands because you see all these right here or it almost looks like marshlands or something. Uh, it says. Um, uh, there are also several islands located amongst rivers and large expanse expanses over water or of water. Um, it says, uh, um, well, it just ends with let's hope, um, let's hope the missions centered on these uh, aren't as tiresome as when John Mars- Marsden had to cross ravines to new areas on the map in Redemption. Do you know what the, that's about? I don't know. There was a lot. Like I'm, I'm sure they're gonna have their the intro missions where it's kind of tedious. Like I don't know when like it first started out in Red Dead Redemption, you had to like get your farm, you had to get like cattle, and like do like normal farm work and shit. And it starts off pretty oh, really? slow, but then once it gets into like the gangster like fucking outlaw shit, then it starts getting really <laughs> good. But it starts off kind of slow, yeah, because you're just working on a farm, like doing regular farm shit. I'm down, man. I'm all for it. Yeah, and the, just the scenery is so beautiful. Like they put so much into the details and like the sun. And oh yeah, the clouds and how it's shining. Well, even even the screenshots they've released already for it. The shading. It, there was like everything. a few of only a few of them, but they look absolutely gorgeous. They look amazing. What is it? It's a Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Oh, you know, I've this one's been. A, uh, in discussion for a while and it's by cd project red the makers of the witcher 3 uh, or the witcher franchise really so after months of post-launch support and two phenomenal expansions the polish studio is tackling something new cyberpunk 2077 uh so it's going to be a big switch up a switch or yeah a big it switches things around quite a bit for the studio, who is really more familiar with uh, the fantasy kind of universe rather than a cybernetic cyberpunk universe. Um, so, what is cyberpunk? Um, it's going to be an all new IP by CD Projekt Red, um, exchanging Ger- Geralt's. Geralt. Geralt's. <laughs> I could never get that right. I always want to say Geralt. Geralt's fantasy setting for one with a bright neon sci-fi and aesthetic set in an open world rpg from um from either a first person or third person perspective players can expect a wide departure from the witcher 3 so it's going to be completely different you know complete 180 like think of anything in the witcher and the think of the complete opposite and this is what it's going to be um so 
the and it's not even going to be out till 2019 either so wow. it's a long ways away it must be a huge game they're working on well think about how huge the witcher is so think about the size of the witcher but a game where you're in a city dude wow how fucking sick would where see that's kind of like the opposite of rockstar doing grand theft auto and then going to an old western game yeah right they're going but the thing the thing is is like the witcher is so massive can you imagine them creating a game just as massive in in a futuristic world with buildings and how sick would it be that you could go into any one of those buildings and all of that god damn i'm excited about this that looks cool um so according to CD Projekt Red, um, what the breadths, breadths, what is that supposed to mean? Um, I don't know. I, I guess uh, the environment. I think is what they're they're uh, referring to, but they're saying is going to be considerably wider than The Witcher Three, which seems almost impossible. <laughs> It says Night City will be a truly overwhelming environment to explore, filled with unique quests, NPCs, and gameplay opportunities. It's likely to be pretty violent, too. <laughs> yes. yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so you'll be able to obtain a series of skills, abilities, enhancements, communicate with cities and inhabitants using a digital recorder device known as a brain dance. So you can communicate with people without even having to talk. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, and it's going to be run on, on the new engine called Red Engine 4.0. Have you heard of that? No, it's probably like the... It's the, it's uh, a, the latest iteration of the technology that powered uh, Witcher 3. Cool. Man, that this works. looks fucking sick. Wow. It almost looks like Fallout a little bit, huh? It looks like... Um... Arkham City or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that completely explains what this area it looks like. Of the uh, the city in like Cloud Atlas when they're. I don't know if you have seen Cloud Atlas, but there's like multiple storylines going on, and one of them's like a futuristic one, and that looks a lot like the world that they live in. Oh yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, I would love. I I've heard it's good, and and they they kind of use it in Rick and Morty too, don't they? When um, oh, yeah. when what's his name? Fucking Jerry's. Jerry's an actor. He's like Tom Hanks. <laughs> what did, and what does he say? Something about the foo foo or the, the yeah. Cause <laughs> they have like a real primitive language. It's like the bad bad or the good good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the true true. The true true. That's <laughs> that was what I was looking for. So they're saying it's going to be a, a super dense populated world. Um, it says The Witcher 3, of course, um, was a vast open field, medieval cities filled with energetic bards and ferocious monsters. Cyberpunk 2077 will be a completely different story. Um, it says, uh, expects to take inspiration from, um, Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? Oh, that buddy in because they're, they're doing fireworks and he got all fucked. Oh, and shit. thank you. Oh, oh shit! What's the occasion? Who's doing fireworks? It's almost Fourth of July. God damn! It's That's only July. June sixth, though. Yeah, I hear it. Oh, yeah, they're already starting to pop it off. That's nuts. I know, buddy. No. Sorry, buddy. buddy no. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. All right. Um, well, it's almost time for. Yeah, we're almost done it's here. Fucking Gonna hungry, be going. Man. All right, let's finish this up. Let's finish it. Um, so of course, Cyberpunk, awesome. E3, awesome. All the the uh, what's gonna be released, all looks fucking dope. Um, Sony might come out ahead yet again. Yet again, time. and yeah, exactly. So they're saying that that's gonna definitely widen that gap between oh, the the, the sales that we have. Um, what happened? Spill my water cup. Oh, it's all right. As long as it doesn't get on any of the no, stuff. Um, you know, so Just, really looking forward to all this. Past. Oh yeah, for sure. Damn it. Right. So. All right. Uh, it's pretty much gonna. Uh, 
It's pretty much going to finish it up for the week. Uh, we pretty much covered everything I uh, m- was looking to. Uh, was there anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, you heard of that uh, new game, Chinese game? <laughs> uh, Hero Mission? Hero Mission. You know what? I think it I might have... suspiciously uh, <laughs> similar to another game <laughs> called Overwatch. Oh, shit, dude. What did I do with this? There's been a lot of games like that lately, like that the Paladins one, one yeah, hero but, shooters. But this, the one that um, the Ryan's game. talking about, though, it looks fucking like identical. What were you guys thinking? Like, who thought they would get away <laughs> with that? <laughs> they probably did get away with it. I know, especially well, yeah, especially like in China. Let's see. Here. Okay. Um. I don't know if it's picking that up, but um, so we've we've seen a bunch of games already. Kind of like I don't, ever since Overwatch came out a year ago, there were already clones like from day one. But it's amazing how many people are still fucking making clones of this game, and blatantly too blatant mo- ripoffs. And they're putting them on mobile games. It looks like. Um, <laughs> Because we're watching a video of it right now, and it's clear they've copied everything down to the characters as well. Even their names, too, are they kind of similar? Holy shit. Like Soldier 76. What's the name in this game? Um, Soldier 76. Well, here, here's an example here. Um, uh, so the the bizarro <laughs> they call it the bizarro world parody of blizzard's characters so uh take this hero as an example it looks identical to mercy except for she's got an assault rifle instead of the staff that heals and the pistol and she also seems to have lost her pants somewhere in the transition <laughs> um it doesn't even show the her name it, i'm guessing that they're just calling her uh, mercy as well and it says uh, another one is a, a Genji clone. Not only does it scream Overwatch, but Final Fantasy VII as well. And you know what? Now I'm looking at it. There's characters here that they clearly copied from Star Wars. <laughs> it's a stormtrooper. <laughs> it's a stormtrooper. And uh, even fucking shit from Mad Max. Look at Roadhog was turned into um, the character from Mad Max. Fucking Immortan Joe. The the main villain from Fury Road. This is fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> I wonder what uh, Blizzard has... Uh, I wonder if Blizzard can even do anything about this. No, it's just a coincidence they look so similar. <laughs> it's all just a coincidence. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, you know, speaking of Overwatch real quick... Did, have you guys seen the new dances or anything? Ryan, have you played Overwatch lately? Yeah, I played it. I I, I was playing a little bit too. Uh, I think it was yesterday. I, I downloaded the PTR, the development one, and I was playing on the new map. I don't know if you've checked it out yet. Yeah, I just saw it. Um, there's an area on there where you go outside and there's like no gravity, and so you you're floating around and you're you're jumping around and like it takes forever to get back down to the ground, but it completely changes the gameplay. It completely changes the way you play your fighting, like or yeah, the, completely changes everything. Um, how you battle people, like I loved how they did that. It is awesome. I don't, I don't know if you ever get a chance, dude. Download the PTR version, the develop, uh, developer, or whatever testing one. It is fucking sick. Um, let's see, just a quick. Oh, uh, Netflix. I just I, I'm on the last episode of F is for Family, Bill Burr's uh, second season uh, of his of Bill Burr's new sh- uh, show. Fucking hilarious, dude love this show i can't i can't get enough of it have you finished it nathan no i've only seen like the first three or four episodes of the second season well this season's like twice as long as the first one and um twice as long fucking double the fucking goodness and uh bill burr you can never go wrong with him dude he's probably i've been hearing a lot of arguments of him being the funniest comedian out right now dude 
he, what's amazing about him, he's just so f- like fluid, man. He's he so it, it sounds like it just comes so natural to him, and and some of the jokes on on the show is fucking hilarious, man. Whoever he's working with, he, he he's gotten a good group of people. Of course, it, uh, again, it's fucking Netflix. Like, duh, it's gonna be good. Um, let's see. I think that might be it. Was there anything else, you guys? That's about it. Looks like it's about it. So, um, I think we are gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, so, for Nathan, Ryan, me, Esteban, this has been Dude That's Dope. We'll see you next week. Peace. Let's go. Corrosion.